Hi, welcome to Pontefract Collieries. I'm Tom Wiles, I'm the Vice Chairman. I'm also the Head of Juniors. I'd like to talk to you today, just a short introduction to this video clip, just to say why we think we deserve to win the Build Base Award. We are a football club, but we are much more than a football club. We are a community hub for our whole community, and we serve on a weekly basis at least 25 families through the food hub that we created during the COVID pandemic. We will continue to offer this service once the pandemic is under control. It's a long-term strategy, how we want to engage and help our local community. We also have plans to open an alternative provision. I'm a teacher by trade, and I, we want to help children who are off, often overseen by mainstream education. We also have a large disability football section. Inclusion, is massive and very important to us. We firmly believe in the motto that football is for all. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. We look forward to pitching our ideas to you a week on Tuesday, the 20th of April. Thank you very much. Okay, so in terms of the building materials uh, that we think we deserve to win from you guys, we have five projects that we would like to work on. The first project is the changing rooms in the ground. The changing rooms are appalling. We often get complaints from visiting teams, referees, and even our, our own players. We would like all our teams to have a sense of pride in these change rooms, especially our disability team and our inclusive team where many suffer from social, emotional and mental health issues. With the building materials, we would like to fully decorate the changing rooms, including new tiles and showers and working toilets because the toilets we have often leak. The second project we would like to improve with the building materials are the stand roof. As you can see from the video clip, we have massive access issues with this stand. Wheelchairs and push chairs cannot get by it at all. And this is due to the old concrete bases that were built in the 1950s. Um, spectator views are poor to say the least, especially for those who can't move freely, such as disabled people. We would like to, with the building materials, we would like to duplicate the stand next to this which by using a raised roof and cantilever supports eradicates these issues. The third project we would like to work on is our kitchen. Uh, we currently, as you can see from uh, the short video being played now, we have a massive storage issue for our food hub. Um, we have had to overtake our hospitality areas that we use on match days and, and even this area is nowhere near big enough. Uh, moving on to the next video, you can see the room that is currently unused where we would like to build the kitchen. We would like space for appliances and the reason why we would like to do this is so that we can start to create healthy meals for different groups in our local area such as the alternative provision children that we will be teaching, our football scholars, also young and adult offenders, th those who benefit from the food hub. We would also like to invite our alternative provision families in for meals because often this can be a problem in these households. Pensioners, parent and baby groups, young people that are not in employment or education, uh, local unemployed people and local school kids and families on free school meals in the holidays. Our fourth project is our bar. We have made improvements as you can see from the video uh, but now it needs to be so completed so our community have a space they can meet and be proud of. It will also be where we host different community groups for our social eating on a weekly basis as discussed previously. It would also be a key area for our fundraising events where we can support good causes such as our food hub and then finally uh, what we would like to do in here is fully redecorate. The fifth and final project that we would like to use the building materials to improve our football club and community hub is for the toilets which are currently massively inadequate 
in terms of the facilities that we can offer. We have one gents and we have one ladies stroke disability te uh, toilet. This is often embarrassing for our disabled gents. With the building materials, we would like to improve the existing ladies and gents and create a designated disability toilet and baby changing facilities for people that use the ground on a regular basis.